Okay, question number 25. This is the first part two question. So if you look, questions 25 through 37 are all short answer questions. They require you to show all work. Um, you do get partial credit, so please make sure you answer them to the best of your ability. I mean, you can't just write down nonsense and then get points. You actually have to do some aspects of the problem correctly. So question 25 says, solve algebraically for y. And we have this inequality right here. 4 times y minus 3 less than or equal to 4 times 2y plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write down our PCVNA technique where P stands for parentheses, C stands for combined like terms, V stands for your variables on one side, N for numbers on the other, and A, attached number to your variable, get rid of by dividing. So if I look at this example right here, I do have parentheses. So let's get rid of them by distributing. So I'm going to distribute my four to Y minus three and my four to two Y plus one. So four times Y is four Y, 4 times a negative 3 is a minus 12, and that's less than or equal to. Now I'm going to distribute 4 to 2y and a 1. 4 times 2y is 8y, and then 4 times 1 is a positive 4. My parentheses are gone, so I can cross this out. The C stands for combine like terms. So I have to ask myself, can I combine anything in that box? I can't combine a 4y and a minus 12. Can I combine anything in this box? No, I can't combine an 8y and a 4. So I skip this stage. Now the V stands for variables on one side. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to move my 4y, and I'm going to show you why. If I move my 8y by subtracting, I get a negative 4y. I don't want to deal with a negative. So I'm just not going to deal with a negative. So I'm going to move my 4y to the right-hand side of my equation. And remember, to get rid of a positive 4y, I'm going to subtract a 4y. So I'm going to subtract 4y from both sides of my inequality. And I get negative 12 less than or equal to 8y minus 4y is 4y, and then my plus 4. Now all of my variables are on one side of my inequality. Now, I have to ask myself, are all my numbers on one side of my inequality? And if I look, they aren't, because I have a positive 4 over here. I want to bring this positive 4 to the left-hand side of my inequality. So to get rid of that positive 4, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides of my inequality. I have to ask myself what negative 12 minus 4 is. Well, it's a negative 16. Now... My final step is to get rid of the number attached to my variable by dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides of my inequality by 4. If I look, my 4 is canceled, so I get y, my less than or equal sign, and negative 16 is divided by 4 is negative 4. So I can say my final answer is negative 4 less than or equal to y, or if you wanted to, you could rewrite it as y greater than or equal to negative 4. Both will be acceptable. And that's your final answer.